Ahoy me hearties, Captain Demobeard here, and welcome back once again to me let's play A Secret A Monkey Island. In the last part, we defeated the Swordmaster, and we came in here, the governor's mansion, and we stole the fabulous idol. Then we met the governor herself, who defended us from Fester Shinetop, after the massive brawl we had with him. So, let's take this idol away, and... Uh -oh. Where do you think you're going, Froom Wade? Out of me way, you filth! Buzz off, Fester. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. Why'd you draw your blade on him? This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on ye. Alright. So, we'd be stuck under the water, but fear not. Guybrush Sleepwood can hold his breath for ten minutes. Now, you can't reach any of this. I can't reach that from here. So, but, it turns out the first time I played this, I was stuck for about half an hour before it could work out. How you actually get through here? It'd be simple. You have to just pick up the idol. <laughs> Out of all things, it that be the case. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Good to have a blade at your disposal. Oh, a ghost ship. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! Oh dear. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Not if I have anything to say about it. Get a crew. Well, go get a crew in a ship and go rescue her. That's not gonna be easy, you know. Is it ever? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Hey. Oh, governor. Why did hey. you have to risk your life for me? Oh. Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. That's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it. Even I'll if be I the have spirit. To sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Alright, that be the spirit, Guybrush. To Monkey Island we go. Now, before we uh, get a crew, we need to go and get ourselves a ship. Oh, hang on, let's make a comment whilst we be here. I'll save you, Elaine. I promise. That's it. Now let's go get a ship, Guybrush. You and me fighting side by side. Indirectly, but still. In fact, if, her, if I had a choice and I were to step down from Captain, I would say Guybrush be a, a good candidate to take over. Now, the next place you need to go be here. The massive lights that be blaring across the island. And this be one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> You'll see why. Howdy! Ahoy! <laughs> I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort oh, of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, smooth. <laughs> you want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here <laughs> happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I love this guy. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. 
I can't tell this guy be a game show host or just a salesman that so be in Vegas. What are you interested in looking at today? I see the best ship you got. I see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk okay. This way. <laughs> I like how there'd just be a boat that be sunken, and it's called as oh, is. Yes. This is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking a fireplace two, on a ship. One indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. In a ship. Heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean going decadence. And all for one low price. And that be. Price, let's talk about money. Your money. Uh. <laughs> you had you to get money from elsewhere, that's right. Uh, I see. I'll be honest. No, no more than 172 pieces of eight. Which be nothing, I but... Think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Hurry. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? If anything, I say the prices be a bit high, you know, considering. I mean, there'd be a sunken ship there called As Is. And look at the Viking vessel there. There'd be holes and cracks in it. You call that a high price? I don't know. Ahem. <laughs> so. I see. Hey. I don't really have that much to spend. I'll say that. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. I Walk take it this way. Right. Show me it. Okay, so ain't the Viking vessel. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The right. only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. Well, that'd be you perfect see, then. The previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Cliché. A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. <laughs> hey, that'd so be a good point. It's a good story. <laughs> Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? Hey, Well, I still have more than 172 pieces of eight. Uh, I'd say... Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Right. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. That'd be where you get the cash. Have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Well, I see. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat, I can tell. We need to go, get out of here and go to the store. I see. Let me think about it some more. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure. Think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. We need to get the credit from the uh, store owner. Bye, Stan. I forgot Wait. to give you my card. How'd you get there so fast? And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? 
an extra strong magnetic compass. Do you ever keep your arms still? That's right. It always points directly back here, so if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will... Right. They're moving fast today. I yes, doubt it. Sorry. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Clearly he cares too much about his business. Alright, so we got his compass with his face on it. And we got his card as well. So... We need to head back to the village and talk to the store owner so we can get ourselves or trick ourselves, trick him into giving us credit. And then, once that be done, we can go back and talk to Stan about getting the ship. I don't know about you, me hearties, but I think Stan be one of my favorite characters in this franchise throughout all the Monkey Island games. Just because he'd be plain ridiculous. <laughs> Like I said, I can't tell if he'd be a game show host or a salesman from Las Vegas. So, maybe a bit of both. Also, I'd be wondering if he's actually able, if he'd be capable of speaking without flopping his hands about. <laughs> but then again, it'd be Stan. Of course he'd be doing that. Alright. Well. Ring bell for service. Yarp. It never fails. Good. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. Good to see you too. What do you want? All right. I would like the credit. Now... I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. I need to concentrate here. You are, I. Uh, you got a job? I say... Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. So let's see. I need to watch the handle there. So... Yep. Okay, I think I can remember that. Hopefully. You have to watch the hand motion and see if you can... Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? Uh, pirate, I guess. So... Or... I'm waiting tables at the scum bar. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Yeah, the cook over there waits all his own tables. He likes to spit on all his customers personally. Ah, uh, well, it'd be worth a try. But you can't convince him, so the best thing you can do is... You have to, I have to watch. So, down. Okay. Easy. All right, so left, right, full circle left, full circle right. Okay. What else do you want? Uh, get out of here. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Get out of here so I can concentrate. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. Okay. And don't touch anything! Alright, so we need to go up here. And... Uh... Pull. And then push. How do you push it? Push. Push. And pull. No. Darn it, I messed up. Okay, okay. Give me a moment. I messed up there. So, pull. Push. Push. A pull. 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 Push. Push. 
Push. And push. Hmm. Hey. There's nothing in here but this note. <laughs> I find it hilarious that's the fact that uh, there'd be a big vault there, and the only thing that'd be in there would be the note of credit. That'd be the one note. What kind of store owner would be this guy? Alright, so let's go and talk to Stan again. Now we got a note of credit. Which I believe have, has $5,000 on it. Or pieces of eight. Alright. You know, funny, this ship looks just like the sea monkey back at Stan's place. Obviously, I guess that'd be an artwork thing, but still. The amount of ships that be in parts at the moment since no pirates be. I'll <laughs> just. I'll plunder in because of this LeChuck person. Fear not, fellow pirates. I'll deal with LeChuck for ye. Get rid of him for good. Okay. So. Used ship Emporium. Interesting name, Stan. Let's be surprised you didn't put your name on the front there. Howdy! Ahoy! Great to see you again! Ye too, I likewise. You come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Alright, well... So show me what you got. What else can I show you? I see. Hey. Uh, could I see the cheap one again? That'd be the one you need. I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Nope. Walk this way. Not necessarily her price that matters. It be, uh, the fact that it went to Monkey this Island and back. A good mystery, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about money. Your money. All right. Uh... I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. That'd be good Your to hear. It's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? At least he has if good manners. If keeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Ye uh, got it. Right. Not. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. I be I certain. Know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? All right, so basically what you need to do here is you need to uh, keep saying that you don't need extras, which helps him way down the price till you, it'd be enough for you to pay with the credit. So basically, you need to... I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Hey, I can live without that. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? So you essentially have to keep at this until eventually he... I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Hey, no. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. I'm but sure I can manage. There's more. Did I tell you about the taco meter? Uh, I no. I think I can live without that particular. I didn't even know what that be, but don't sound good. Wow. Does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? There we but go. Wait, there's more. 
Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Okay, so the moment he says that, that means he it be the right time. So now I say... Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? All right, uh... I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? I see. I think it'd be good to start small. I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. All right, be come on. A whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. You'd be that desperate to get rid of it? Blimey. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right. Uh, 3,000. How does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? Hey. I'd like to make you an offer. All right, up the ante a bit. Great. How much? This be the way to weigh yourself into the dealers. Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. Right. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. All right. Realize, don't you, that they just don't Time for the final showdown. Right then. You an offer. Great. Great. What kind of cliche nonsense be that anyway? All right, 5,000. All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder what? than that. Surely okay. that would work. You can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she <clears throat> sees this ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. I appreciate your advice, but money ain't the good way to impress the ladies. I've seen it happen before, and it ain't a good story. All right. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 6,700 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Hey. So we're way down again. Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I might have. I think I did this too early. Hold up. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's just more. a few more of these, Did and I eventually he weighs it down. Wood siding. All right. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. All right, should be one more. About the porthole defoggers. Port. First of all, how could you get technology like that in the 1700s or whatever this be? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. You need to but get wait, into them. Come on. More. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Hey, let's see if that did it. Extras already. Okay, where were we? All right, try again. Well, what do you think it's worth? Come on. You could sail this puppy Yarr. away today for just 5,800 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? All right. I'd like to make you an offer. Hopefully this be enough. Great. Come on. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Come on. Wait, wait, what? What happened? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Me, <laughs> that killed the mood all of a sudden. <laughs> Fly me. Why did I pause me menu all of a sudden? Christmas I didn't press nothing. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. 
Well, I'd be glad to then. Oh, yeah. Do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Good. Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. Good man. Meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And well, that'd be good on the most part. Everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Right then. Get out of here, you crazy lot. See you at the dock, and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Okay, well, now we got our ship. Alright, let's see. I We'd be a little over the time limit, so I apologize if this video's gone longer than usual, but thank you, mateys, for watching this video. And if you liked it, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see more, then stay tuned. And I'll see you next time, Mearties. See you on the next voyage. Farewell, Mearties.